All right, well, I was asked uh, by somebody um, how the vacuum lines are routed in this Oldsmobile here. Apparently, they had uh, an engine fire, and they can't find out uh, anywhere with a good diagram, and uh, I haven't seen one either. And I have the factory service manual, and that really doesn't say much, so I suppose uh, we'll start at the carburetor. I figured I'd make a video just because that's a little bit easier to show rather than pictures um, but I'll take a few pictures as well we'll start out here at the carburetor we got a little nipple and it runs to a T and then part of that runs over to here and the other side actually runs down along here and let's see where it ends up and that goes into the side of the distributor and we've also got one in the back here of the carburetor and that runs over to this uh, this piece here and there's also obviously the big one that runs to the air cleaner um, got that one and then of course you have the big one that runs over there this check valve and then runs over to the brake booster and also tees off way over there into a vacuum canister um, and the last one we have coming off of here comes from the manifold runs up to a T over there and one end of that T runs over into this unit and the other end of this unit runs into the firewall somewhere up under the dash and the other end of that T whoop I just knocked off my T don't want to be doing that yeah, I'll put it back on in a minute but the other end of the T runs where do you run trying to find it there we go it's that one I bet that big dog there Oh, popped it off that end too. But it runs into a similar piece like that on this other side. And I popped it off of there. But now this one doesn't have another one coming out like that one did. But that might not be the way it's supposed to go. I'm not sure. There are just a ton of vacuum lines around here, aren't there? But there are a few more. Um, there's one. Runs this heater valve. I believe that's what it is. And goes up into the dash. There's one. It runs all the way over there, that yellow one. Looks like it comes from the wipers. Yeah, it looks like it comes from the wiper motor. And it runs all the way down here. Actually, this may be the washer. It's not a vacuum line. I bet you anything. I bet you anything. But that's where that one goes. The yellow one runs all the way across. That would have burned up too. Yeah, the yellow ones are the washer because this one goes up. And uh, I assume it heads towards the nozzle, so... And this one does as well. It's a orange colored one. And it's got an orange stripe on it. And that runs up to the other side. Follows the dash. And I believe that's all the vacuum. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? No, that's a speedometer. I believe that's all the vacuum uh, lines on this side, along with the washer washer fluid and over here I don't know if you have this unit here for AC and everything but looks like there is basically two diaphragms here and they're connected somehow okay well, I keep knocking off all my T's and have horrible vacuum problems I keep this up but it runs down from a T to this one and goes into uh, 
that hole. Hopefully you can see it good. We've got another one comes out of the second hole from the right that goes into this one. Got a pink one that comes out from the far right hole. Runs up under here and runs down to this. And I believe that's all that's coming out of it. There's not a whole ton of vacuum lines here. Really, that's about all I can I can see right now. So should be pretty easy to uh, to get it back together. Um, yeah, I don't see any more. I hope that helps you. Uh, like I said, I'll take some more pictures. Um, and that'll hopefully show everything I need to show, but that's basically the vacuum lines on a uh, under the hood on a 63 Oldsmobile 98.